Nobody knew what we were in for. We all, you know, we were excited. We had butterflies in the car. So I'm very excited. It's it's going to be a happening, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, I've never had anything like this happen in my entire life. It just gives you chills, and you want to cry out of happiness. Just tears came to my eyes. In a world where millions of children endure poverty, disease, discrimination, and hunger, what can we do to change what seems to be the inevitable for those less fortunate? In September of 2014, seven people from the Hamels Foundation, including four donors, set out to discover that for themselves. They flew 7,825 miles to witness the opening of the Namunda Primary School in Malawi, Africa. Come along with us on their journey. <laughs> The Hamels Foundation is dedicated to enriching the lives of children through the power of education by giving them the tools they need to achieve their goals. Founded in 2008 by Philadelphia Phillies pitcher Cole Hamels and his wife Heidi, the Hamels Foundation is a non-profit 501c3 company with a dual purpose to provide support for quality education in the United States and establish a primary school in Malawi, Africa. The model that we have uh, in the United States is, is taken off and with such success to allow kids to achieve their goals because they actually have the resources. Uh, but at the same time, it's also given us the best knowledge in knowing how do we go out and uh, provide the big picture to Malawi with building a school and having a program there that they can actually envision and believe in some dreams that they never thought were possible. Project Malawi started because of my experience with the CBS show Survivor. And on that show, I became very sick and I realized very quickly that the only thing that got me better was a support system and great medicine. And I started thinking of all the kids out there in the world that don't have either of these things and how could we be part of making their lives better. We found an amazing group called Gaia. A guest speaker by the name of Bill Rankin was here in Westchester, Pennsylvania, speaking about the AIDS epidemic in Malawi, Africa specifically. And by the end of his speech, I came up to him and I said, you have to take me to Malawi, Africa with you. I have to be part of something that's going on there. And he did. <laughs> <laughs> The Global AIDS Interfaith Alliance, or simply Gaia, was doing great work in Malawi, bringing food, shelter, and medical attention to those in need, who had no safety net whatsoever. This is one of their mobile clinics, where anyone within walking distance can be seen and diagnosed by a doctor. Inspired by the successes they witnessed, the Hamels Foundation partnered with Gaia and extended their educational program outside of America's borders to establish Project Malawi. Gaia has been on the ground in Malawi for many years and they have built up a rapport and a relationship with these people that is one of trust and one of integrity. And it made it very easy for me to go in there because of Gaia and start a school. Gaia had the good fortune of meeting Heidi Hamels about eight years ago and her interest was in our General Villages program, orphan care, um, the mobile clinics, the nursing programs, things like that. But as the Hamels Foundation narrowed its mission and became focused on education, they brought us in the direction of education. And so today we do much more as a result of this school for delivering education than we've ever done before. The locals trusted them and donated the only thing they owned, their land, for the school to be built. I found it very useful to donate the land because uh, my children were traveling very far to go to the nearest primary school, which is near this village. When my children complete their education, they will be assisting me because by then I'll be old, I'll not be able to do some work. 
He says uh, there have been so many organizations that have come to work here in his village. They have promised to build schools, but Hamis Foundation has honored their promise. Everything that they owned, they gave up, and that was their land so that the school became possible. One of the primary reasons we picked Malawi was because of how stable the government is and actually how amazing the MOE, the Ministry of Education, has been to us. Uh, without them uh, approving every step along the way, this school would not be able to happen. In 2012, under the skillful leadership of Gaia, Malawi's country director, Jones Laviwa, became responsible for overseeing the construction of a fully functioning primary school. I think ultimately you have to have people that are accountable and what they say, they mean, and they're going to go do. Today, the dream is coming true. The school campus is about 50% complete and represents a first major step towards breaking the cycle of AIDS through education. Once fully complete, the primary school that serves students in grades 1 through 8 will educate nearly 2,000 boys and girls per year in the Malange district of Malawi. On the way to the school, there were many uh, kids out sitting underneath trees and that was, we were told that uh, that was the way kids went to school every day. They did not go into a classroom or they didn't have a limited amount of kids per class. There were hundreds of kids with one instructor. And uh, very little food, no water, no bathrooms, and not to take anything away from these people because they are using all the resources they have. It's just a fact of the matter that they have very, very little. The Hamel School will feature bright classrooms with electricity, tile floors, and desks built with local wood by neighboring craftsmen. Nicknamed the Warm Heart of Africa, Malawi is home to 16 million peaceful souls, the majority living in a rural environment. I come to to Malawi or to Malangi, I always bring greetings from the United States. But today, I brought the United States. You could just see the kindness and the love that they had, um, and even just the sense of humor and the, the laughter that they had within themselves was so amazing to witness. These children who were so thrilled to know that these people from the United States are coming to open up their school, and they are so, so thankful. The people of Malawi really are so hard to describe to other people because they have a peacefulness to them. They're beautiful, they're trusting, they're kind. They give you everything they have, which is very little. It's really just a perfect recipe for wanting to help another human being. AIDS has affected the adult population here, particularly males leaving many single mothers to care for 800,000 orphans under the age of 15 in this tiny country. Gaia also funds a training school for nurses who are helping greatly in the quest to raise the standard of education throughout the region. After taking in the countryside, the visitors were ready for opening day of the school. Approaching the school, you go through 
villages of kind of thatched roofs and brick huts and the vehicle we we're in makes a slight turn. And I'm like, is Oprah here? All you saw was this sea of smiles. And then I looked up and I couldn't be prepared for what I saw. Here was this magnificent structure with glass and architecture attached to it. It wasn't just one building, it was basically a campus. They just surrounded you. Anywhere you go, there were just a sea of kids and they would just stare at you and not wanting anything from you because they knew our presence being there was going to make their lives so much better. When we took a tour of the school, it was unbelievable. And even though it's not completed, the part that was was just phenomenal. It's really more of an example. That's what we want to create here is an example for the country of Malawi and an, an example for third world countries that they too can be educated like this, have an, a model school like this, and practice the same techniques we're teaching these, these children in Malawi. And with that, yes, you can change a country. We were escorted to an area that we had been told would be undercover. Meanwhile, we're, we're staring out at hundreds and hundreds of children, and it wasn't just a bunch of speeches, it was theater. It was truly an inspiring celebration, the flagship, so to speak, of what education in Malawi can be. All they kept talking about was this was a first step in improving the country of Malawi. It really was just something that you can't recreate. They have no electricity. So I mean, really, all those people showed up by word of mouth. Pretty amazing to see that. This was a very special day with attendance by many dignitaries and some 40 chiefs who traveled many miles from surrounding villages. Even a member of parliament participated. Then it was Heidi's turn to speak. I was a former school teacher in America, so I've seen firsthand what education can do to a child. I had to go back to America, to the United States, and tell them about this dream. And I have some of them here with me today because they could not wait to see this happen. I know all of you are capable of doing great things and that's what I expect out of each and every one of you. I want all of you to know that you have brothers and sisters in America that love you and care for you and have hope for you. In September 2014, the children were welcomed in to enjoy their new classrooms. The Namunda Primary School campus features four large classroom blocks, each comprising four classrooms. Housing is provided for the headmaster as well as the teachers and their families. There will be an administration building, bathrooms, a library, a staff common area, all secured by a 12-foot brick perimeter. For the first time in the history of the region, the playing field for boys and girls will be level, providing an environment of mutual respect and elevating all the children's sense of self-worth. In Africa, in this beautiful country that has so little but they are so happy for anything that is given to them that they work for. It was emotionally overwhelming um, to see just the love and the gratitude that they had. I, I've never felt that ever. Um, and like it even gives me chills now. But to see that school in all of its glory, it is 50% complete. And with 50% complete, you could actually open up the doors to these kids, which is clearly the most important thing. It shows the community hope. It shows the community that we followed through with what we said we were going to do. And we still have 50% more to go. And there's no reason now not to trust what we're trying to give to these people. Students will learn English, the significance of good health, how to prevent AIDS, the importance of a real trade, and the value of mutual respect through education. But this is an idea so large that the Hamels Foundation needs the help of others to see it through to completion. 
They need many more generous donors to complete the school's progress and to ensure students have the supplies and tools needed to be successful. There are a lot of great organizations in the U.S. doing worthy work here in Africa. But I think what the Hamels Foundation is doing here, in partnership with us, provides a great return on investment. The dollar goes a very long way when well handled. There's a ton of great ideas out there, but how do you make your great idea possible? You have to have wonderful support. We're willing to do all the things most people aren't willing to do. And it is because of our donors that that is able to happen. Donating, I didn't think twice about it. I knew that it was going to go for a good cause. Your money goes so far and it touches so many more people. I'm proud to know that I am able to help so many children in this world. The only way the Malawian people are going to be able to improve their education is by people believing in what the Hamels Foundation is doing. Because all administrative costs are underwritten personally by Cole and Heidi Hamels, 100% of your donation will go towards helping these deserving children and this impoverished region. You can direct your donation to Project Malawi to support these students in realizing their full potentials. Please join us in contributing your time, expertise, influence or money to help us help them. Thank you. From Gaia and the people of Namunda Village, Zikoma Wambiri. Thank you very much, Hamels Foundation.